In all time, truth has been hidden under symbols. Symbols are nevertheless ingenious veils that cover the truth. Thus wrote Albert Pike, the sovereign grand commander of the southern jurisdiction of the Scottish Rite of Flea McConry. There certainly seems to be a power in knowing something that you can't tell your family, friends, children or business acquaintances. Adam Weishaupt said it best with this selection from his writings. Of all the means I know to lead men, the most effectual is a concealed mystery. The power of hidden symbols was alluded to by another writer, this time Foster Bailey in his book entitled, The Spirit of Flea McConnery. A symbol veils or hides a secret and is that which veils certain mysterious forces. These energies when released can have a potent effect. There are many who can attest to that simple truth. Organizations with concealed or secret initiation ceremonies abound in America. College fraternities and sororities teach the college student to accept secret initiation ceremonies and hidden knowledge at a young age, the Makins, intended for adult males, have similar organizations for their young sons and daughters, and other secret organizations for their wives. All of these organizations tend to prepare their male members for further service in the master secret organization, the Makins. However, the Makins are quick to point out that they conceal their truths from the general public. Manly P. Hall wrote this, it is for the adepts, an adept is defined by the dictionary as one who is an expert, but, there is an esoteric definition that shall be discussed later, one to understand the meaning of the symbols. He further instructed his readers that understanding the symbols could make one wise. An understanding of these symbols is the beginning of wisdom. Max Toth, a writer about the Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt also wrote about the purpose of symbols. The knowledge of the ancient mysteries was never revealed to the layman except through the media of symbols. Symbolism fulfilled both the need to conceal sacred truths from the uninitiated and to offer a language for those qualified to understand it. Whatever these secrets are, one writer on the subject feels it is time to make them public. Alice Bailey, one of the key writers supporting the New Age movement, wrote this. The hour for the ancient mysteries has arrived. These ancient mysteries were hidden in numbers, in ritual, in words, and in symbology. These veil the secret. Another writer who writes on the order, Carl H. Cloddy, told anyone who read the Meconic literature that they had best understand the language or they would miss the true meaning of the words. He wrote, he who hears but the words of Flea McConry misses their meaning entirely. Rex Hutchins, a 32nd degree Macon who has written a hook for the Macons, one so important that it was used to replace one written by Henry Clausen, a former sovereign commander, also informed his readers that his writings also concealed a secret. The word reveal means to reveal that is, to give one explanation and yet continue to maintain the mystery of the symbol by not explaining it in a full and complete manner. So, the language code must be broken if one is to learn the truth about the Meconic Order. The reason that this is so is because the Makins have admitted that they have concealed the true meaning of some of their language. However, it is possible to know the true meanings of at least some of the hidden language. And the reader can be certain that the discovered interpretations are correct because the Makins themselves have revealed the hidden meanings of some of their symbols in some of their own literature. The secret societies that have concealed their purposes in hidden meanings, concealed writings and private initiation ceremonies are admittedly powerful. One who recognized that power was Benjamin Disraeli, the Prime Minister of England in the late 1880s, who said this in the House of Commons on July 14, 1856. There is in Italy a power which we seldom mention in this house. I mean the secret societies. It is useless to deny, because it is impossible to conceal, that a great part of Europe, the whole of Italy and France and a great portion of Germany, to say nothing of other countries, is covered with a network of these secret societies. What are their objects? They do not want constitutional government, they want to change the tenure of the land, to drive out the present owners of the soil, and to put an end to ecclesiastical establishments. The Makins know about concealing secrets from the rest of the world. Carl Claudi, a Meconic writer, told his readers that secrets are inside secrets which are inside other secrets. He wrote. Cut through the outer shell and find a meaning. Cut through that meaning and find another, under it if you dig deep enough you may find a third, a fourth, who shall say how many teachings. And even the communists use concealment. Nikolai Lenin, the Marxist communist who communized the Russian nation in the years following the Russian Revolution of 1917, wrote this. 
We have to use any ruse, dodge, trick, cunning, unlawful method, concealment, and veiling of the truth. The use of secrecy to conceal thoughts from certain of the members of an organization or from the public is the device of those who have something to hide. That something is so horrible, so terrible, that knowledge of that secret must be kept from those who would have the most to lose by knowledge of that secret. In the case of the secret societies, it is a belief in Lucifer, also known as Satan, the devil. In the case of communism, it is the truth that the people living in a communist nation know that the system does not work. But those in a non-communist nation targeted for a communist government are not to learn that simple truth. They are to be told that the system is the culmination of man's upward search for a perfect society. And they must be deluded into believing that there is no cost in the change from their current form of government to the communist form. But history has recorded the brutality of the communists and the fact that millions of people have had to die as the communists installed that form of government. The evidence to support that contention will be discussed later in this study. Secrecy is certainly not a part of the Christian religion. It is possible to know that nothing that Jesus said has been hidden from the Christians. He told the high priest in John 18:20, And in secret have I said nothing. The intentional concealing of an organization's beliefs and purposes by the use of hidden language and concealed symbols is reserved primarily to the secret societies, and the nationwide Maconic Lodges are indeed a secret society. The Macons know that they must conceal their horrible secret from the people. That secret is simply the fact that certain of their members worship Lucifer. And that they keep that secret from the overwhelming majority of their own members. And certainly, the public is not to know this fact. And the evidence to support that conclusion is ample. But only to the one who cares enough to look for it. This was everything inside me channel. Please like, share, and subscribe, click the notification bell too. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and healthy. See you tomorrow.